Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ground Up Lupa. Today we're going to be talking about and discussing For Honor. I am super excited for this game. This is a game that I've been looking forward to a long time. I'd say it's like a uh, sword fighting, medieval, uh, competitive game. It, it's pretty It's pretty fun, not going to lie. Um, we're going to jump into some gameplay here. I'm going to kind of discuss and talk about it as we go. Um, as always, I'm going to be a knight. There is... Uh, uh, I believe, yeah, three factions you can choose from. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, three factions you can choose from. There's the Knights, the Samurai, and the Vikings. And they all have their own unique skills and weapons that they can use. Um, I prefer the Knights only because I just like Knights. I like the medieval look. I like the way, I like their play style. Um, I'm enjoying them a lot. I've, pl I've played about, uh, I'd say about three or four hours of this game already. And, um, of the beta, obviously. And uh, I've been enjoying it. There's a huge potential for a competitive scene here. I would say a massive potential for that. And, um, yeah, right now I'm fighting against bots because the matchmaking is a little whomped right now. I don't know if it's because, uh, it, because obviously it's in beta and it's having, uh, they're kind of sorting out how to do the, the matchmaking correctly or what the issue is. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'm fighting bots right now. They did, however, make the bots extremely difficult. They are... One of a kind, I'm gonna tell you. They got like minds of their own, um, especially when you go into the one v one kind of a you scene. Zone a. But we're gonna jump right back into it, guys, you and see what we can do here. Show you, show you some raw gameplay. So these are like the little minions. The guy that I just killed right there, straight up minion. They um, they don't really impact anything. They can get in the way of your battles, from what I've noticed. Like with another hero. And there's also a line that they create. Like your bat, your your uh, friends here will, uh, or your allies here will fight their allies and create like this this front, basically. Like my army's gonna push their army back, and that makes it easier for us to cap points beyond that uh, or behind that line. And I'm being attacked right now, so I'm gonna face this guy off. As you can see, there's like a directional combat system. Basically, wherever your uh, your right analog stick, in my case, since I'm playing on Xbox One is face that's where you're going to defend or attack so i just he got away from me there so i'm now i'm gonna attack his basically his front or his, uh, above him so that's a that's a that's a high guard that's a left guard and that's a right guard so basically you just go off those three guards and those three uh attack positions to basically uh obviously dispatch your foe or end up getting dispatched yourself this guy isn't really paying attention so the, you get two different options you get your weak attacks and your strong attacks all right so we're back in the combat here and i'm dead instantly killed so in this mode or in this state i should say your dead state you have two options you can either respawn or you can get revived now if you're executed you're done you can't be revived and you have to respawn and that's kind of like an interesting little twist. It takes a little more when you're in combat to get that execution. You gotta, you have to finish them with a, a, a strong or a powerful attack. And then you're given the option, once your sword or whatever your axe is implanted into them, you have the option to press, uh, I believe, X or Y. And um, I don't know what it does on the PC. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's square or triangle on uh, PS4. And um, that'll give you the ability to perform an execution and deny that person a revive. Which is important, especially if you're trying to take objectives and uh, you want to deny them that objective. I'm going to try to see if I can find uh, a guy here. Here we go. This guy might be going into revenge mode. And right now I am stammered, so I no longer have stamina, which means I cannot perform a, a powerful attacks. And if I continue to attack, they're going to be very slow and inconsistent and basically weak. So you want to step back away from the fight at that point and uh, regain some uh, stamina. You lose a lot of stamina to doing your power attacks. I have a really bad habit of spamming the power attacks. Looks like I did get that kill there. And, um... I just find it very satisfying to get those po land those power attacks and I uh, overlook using the weaker, more tactical attacks that you can also do. 
So we just took this objective here. And if you, as you saw, if you remain in the objective for a long time or for any amount of time, you'll slowly regain health if you own that objective. You can also get different perks to, uh, you know, regain health, which I have um, currently enabled to regain health as you kill the little minions, the little peons, as I like to call them, because they're pretty, they're pretty weak. Doing some work here on this guy. And here we go, execution. Boom. So that's going to deny him the ability to get revived. And it also gives me a lot more points. And uh, it can give you a health buffer, depending on what you have enabled in your equipment. You captured Zone C. Oh, I just leveled up here. Looks like one of my friends got downed. I'm going to go see if I can revive him. He's in zone A right now, so I'm going to make my way back there. But right now, we're contested in this zone because there's an enemy. I am beating the hell out of her. And here we go. I got that execution. Boom. Beautiful work. And she's going to sit here and get revived for a sec- or, uh, regain some health. I'm going to see what's going on up top here. Maybe see if I can explain, uh, another feature of the game, which I find, uh, incredibly satisfying if you can pull it off. So if you're above the battlefield here and you see, like, an enemy soldier down below you- Looks like that guy took an arrow. Uh, down below you here, you can choose- to kind of do an Assassin's Creed full frontal assault and just put your body weight on your sword and just basically just fall right into them. Um, that will grant you an instant kill. I've only done it a couple times because you're not really, I mean as the knight, as the warden, um, you're not really given that opportunity very much. I'm sure if you um, played as another class, like maybe someone that had more long range or that uh, was more agile like the Peacemaker, you could perform those things a lot better. but. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It will kill me since there's no one under me, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you the gif. So let's just say there's an enemy below you. You can just basically fall right on him. Kill him. It's going to it's gonna lower your health down to basically nothing, but you got that kill. It's kind of like a risky thing to do last second. Or if you're not so high up, I'm sure you could get the kill and not lose a ton of health. So I'm going to run to... I'm going to run to A here and retake the objective. That way they're not spawning in behind us. I don't think they spawn in on the objectives, but just in case. Oh, obviously there's guard breaks, which is by uh, pressing X on the controller, or square, if you're playing PS4. A will allow you to dodge if you use it in any, obviously, any direction. I'm getting my butt kicked trying to explain this stuff to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so I got killed there trying to be fancy and show what I was doing, or try to show you guys what I was doing. All right, looks like uh, looks like one of our teammates is chasing one of the enemy bots. Looks like he's gonna try to revive us teammates there. I'm going to help him out. I'm going to flank around him. See if we can get him from behind. Oh! Yep. He's getting his butt kicked. Let's see if I can throw him into this fire. There we go. Oh, he got the kill. And he got the execution, so he's denied him the ability to be revived. And we won the game! So yeah, guys, that was my brief, like, first impressions, kind of instructional video on For Honor. This game, like I said, I'm extremely excited for it. I'm enjoying it a lot. And it looks like I got a reward here. You will get rewards, and you will get, like, points and coins at the end of your games. Um, it's all random. It's randomly gener uh, generated. And uh, that's, that's pretty neat looking. Revenge Mode Defense. And you'll see that it gives you these different perks and uh, abilities. 
And all your armor, all your equipment has these. So it's going to be like, you know, cooldown reduction, revenge mode defense, revenge gain by defense. These will all, like, each set of equipment, each set of armor will have these things. So hope that guys, hope that helps you guys. And um, I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.